In this Dragonfly 3 training video, we're going to look at the window leveling controls for adjusting the brightness and contrast of your image channels. For this demonstration, I've chosen a data set which is a micro CT scan of some rabbit bone with a titanium implant. Ordinarily, when you first load data into Dragonfly, what you'll want to do is adjust the brightness and contrast so that you can see the salient features in your image. In this case, you can probably already see the titanium, but it, because it is so bright, you might not see the rabbit bone in the background. The tools you use for adjusting the brightness and contrast so you can see the, both the rabbit bone and the titanium, those controls are found here in the window leveling control panel. The first button you should be aware of is the button that puts you in the leveling state. This button here will put me in the leveling state. Now, when I drag vertically, I increase the brightness or decrease the brightness. When I drag horizontally, I increase the contrast or decrease the contrast. I can drag diagonally for both effects simultaneously. When I drag the mouse, you can see this widget is updating. This is the histogram of my image intensity pixels. So my pixels have a range, let me click the reset button, a range from 0 to 3085. As I increase the brightness, you see that what's happening is all of these pixels are being rendered and everything above this intensity is being rendered as completely white. Notice that I'm on a logarithmic axis for my Y. If I click this off, you can see that most of my image intensity pixels are these over here. That's because the titanium itself makes up a small volume and most of the volume is made up by the air and the rabbit bone. But what you notice is you can drag these edges so that you can tell Dragonfly, I want my brightness or my lookup table map mapping my colors on screen from this value, which is currently 148, to this value, which is 551. What happens is everything below this value gets rendered, in this case, as completely black, as dictated by my LUT. Everything above this value gets rendered as completely white, as dictated by my grayscale LUT. Everything in between takes on a linear mapping onto this lookup table. So when we use this to increase the brightness or decrease the brightness, we're essentially shifting this transform. So this is increasing brightness or decreasing brightness. When we drag left to change or right to change the contrast, we're effectively applying this operation, which is narrowing the window. So this is the behavior when you are in leveling mode. I'm going to switch to the standard track mode now. In this case, I'm not in leveling mode, but I want to point out that you have a shortcut to leveling mode, which is here where you see W and C on the screen. If I happen to mouse over that where it turns blue and then I drag vertically, I'm increasing the brightness and horizontally I'm changing the contrast. As soon as I release the mouse, I'm back in track mode. You can also see the same thing down here as indicated in the status bar for my, my current state. So this allows you to temporarily go into leveling. And when you release the mouse, you're back. I also have configurable keyboard and mouse shortcuts. The default is a control right drag puts me in leveling state so I can adjust the brightness and the contrast. So those are three different ways, either clicking the button directly or by using the text presenter or by using the configurable action. Three different ways for, temper for going into the leveling behavior. I'm going to click the reset button again. I want to show you that there's another state called the area state that allows you to draw an area on screen and then the contrast will be optimized for that area. If I'm interested in the titanium implant, I can drag my cursors once in the area state, and I can now have more contrast for this titanium implant. If I were to drag over the bone, I would now see the features of the bone. Things that are brighter than the bone might become clipped or saturated or washed out in appearance. If I were to grab just the air, then I would see the features of the reconstructed air and noise, and everything else would be washed out. If I'm interested in seeing both the bone and the titanium simultaneously, then I can drag an area that covers both. And now I have some contrast of both. So that is the area state. Again, I can click the reset. Now, the window leveling that you see for a 2D, or what we sometimes call an MPR view, is synchronized across all MPR views, but behaves independently from the leveling of the 3D view. Let me show you that by adjusting to a four view layout. 
Now if I adjust the contrast in this window, you will see it's adjusted for all the NPR windows, but it does not change for the 3D view. The 3D view behaves independently. The last view I clicked on happens to be this view. It's currently active. If I click once in this view, now you'll see the window leveling state for this view. So I can adjust the brightness here in this view and it's independent of what you see over here. Now let me double click in this view because there's another feature we haven't yet looked at in the window leveling control panel. I want to expand my advanced controls. You see here there are some other features. I want to draw your attention to zoom. I can choose to zoom in on an area of the histogram. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to this behavior which allows me to change the width or the contrast. And now you see that I have a narrow band but I'd like to zoom in on the histogram in this area. So what I will do is I will pan the histogram and then I will zoom the histogram. And now you can see I have more detail in the histogram. I'm also going to switch back to the logarithmic and I'm going to switch back here and now I can start making adjustments. And you can see that I have a lot of fine detail. And now you can see I have a 3D rendering that shows me both the bone and the implant. So I can drag this to increase the brightness and contrast and I can do this to adjust the contrast as well. I'll go back to the track state. So you see you can take advantage of this. If I click the reset behavior here, the reset button here will reset what I see but it won't change the current boundary. So it'll reset the zoom of what's showing here, but it doesn't change the actual boundaries of my current window. So what we've seen here is there in the window leveling widget and control panel, you have the leveling state, the area state, the ability to reset back to the initial. You have the behavior that the window leveling is synchronized across all NPR views, but is independent from the NPR views and the 3D view. And then finally in the advanced plot controls you have the ability to zoom in on the histogram and then adjust where you can pan in the histogram and then go back to the behavior of adjusting the width of the current window. So that summarizes all of the capability of the window leveling features in Dragonfly for adjusting your on-screen brightness and contrast. Thank you.